Hello everyone, Jim Delapine here. I'd like to do this demo on how to set up your brochure design. And I'm going to first note the required elements. You must use existing artwork that you use in your menu design. So of course the logo must be included anyway. Uh, this is also going to be a two-sided full color tri-fold brochure. The size is up to you. You must include some kind of catering information. Uh, make note that this should be set up to be print ready, which means it should include crop marks and you should also have bleed all around. And also very important, many of you forgot this in the menu assignment, they only have one sentence noting this. You must include an annotated sample that defends your design choices, so please don't forget to include that as a separate document, so I should be looking for two documents, okay? So, let's go through the process of setting this up. So, I'm going to hit Control or Command N, which is the shortcut, uh, or File New. I like to work with shortcuts. So, we're going to work with two pages. So, I'm going to type in two. And also make note that if you have Preview checked, you'll be able to see your updated page as you progress. So, I'm going to make this landscape. And uh, I'm going to keep this to letter. But uh, just to make sure, I'm going to type this in. So, 11... I N, don't forget the I N, and then I'll make this 8.5 I N, okay, and I'm going to jump down to columns, and we'll make this three columns. I'm going to make the gutter 0.5 inches, okay, that will give us plenty of room once it's folded on the left and right, so it should give you about a quarter of an inch after the fold. You don't want any text resting against the fold line. Okay, so for the margins, I'm going to make the margin 0.25 inches or a quarter of an inch. And note that, that once I hit tab, it populates the uh, cells here. And the same thing will hold true for your bleed. So your bleed should be an eighth of an inch all around. So I'll type in 0.125 inches and then hit tab and that will populate all those cells. So we're all set to go and hit OK. All right, so that's your basic setup. As I said, I'm keeping this simple. So it, it looks, actually, I did this a little differently. I have a half an inch gutter here. And this is what you should have, really. So this way you have a quarter inch here, quarter inch here, and then the fold in the center. And then if you go to pages, you'll note that you have a front, you have a back, and then your inside flap once you open the brochure from here, and then your inside. Okay, so I just wanted to keep that simple. Remember, I did provide you with some food uh, images that are in the student files folder under course information. So when everything is complete, what you'll do is save this as a PDF by going to File, Export, and hit Save. And then you're going to make sure that in Marks and Bleeds, Crop Marks is checked. And then in the general area here, uh, just make sure that embed page thumbnails is checked also, okay? And then once you click export, it will open up. And uh, what I will be seeing is this. So let me just zoom to the page level. And I should see the crop marks here in both pages, okay? So I hope this helps. I'm going to keep this nice and short this time. All right, take care. Bye.